All right, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics, and in this video, to mark the occasion, which is actually a notable Brexit anniversary, I'm going to be discussing how the concept of Halloween, in particular the American version that we seem to have adopted, is surely to blame for Brexit. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon. So it is possible that this video will only be 10% serious. But ahead of Halloween, I was thinking that two years ago, we had our last No Brexit Day. On the 31st of October 2019, the last extension to Article 50 came into force after Boris Johnson was forced by Parliament to request it. The days when Parliament was still calling the shots just before it lost its mind and gave Boris Johnson a massive majority of toadies and traitors to the detriment of us all. So Halloween 2019 was actually a pretty good day for Brexit, albeit very short-lived. Since then, it's gone a little bit pear-shaped and it's gone back to the day when ghoulish evil stalks the land. Only it doesn't bugger off again the next day. We're sort of stuck with it long term. But I also got to thinking that one of the great problems that has allowed British politics to become what it is, is that we have a population that is largely without critical thinking skills. Ordinarily, you consider that this is because we're just not teaching it to our children. You learn it if you specialise in academic subjects, especially if you go to university. Maybe some have parents who instil it into them, but most are devoid of the skill because it's not taught to them. But it is maybe worse than that. It's not just that we don't teach critical thinking skills universally. We seem to actively teach our kids to accept clear nonsense as they are growing up. And I don't know what the opposite of critical thinking is, but whatever it is, we're teaching it to our kids through the medium of Halloween. Christmas and Easter too, but it's Halloween today, so I'm setting my sights on that. But first, just get into the Halloween spirit before I explain my ramblings. So, like I say, the problem with getting tens of millions of people in the country to either support Brexit or just accept that it's not too bad is that you have to get people to not question obvious nonsense. If we leave the EU, we can have all the benefits of membership with none of the obligations. You don't have to know anything about the EU to smell a rat there. If that were true, why would all the other countries in the EU put up with the costs and obligations if they could still get the benefits? Doesn't make sense, does it? Except it did to a lot of people because they were conditioned to accept obvious nonsense. And Halloween was part of this conditioning. Consider what Halloween is and what is happening tonight. All Hallows' Eve, the night when ghouls and goblins and spirits of malevolent intent stalk the land. That sounds a bit scary. Should we stay inside, lock the doors, put all the lights on, gather our young and read from the Holy Scriptures or something, all huddled together with garlic and holy symbols to protect ourselves from the denizens of the underworlds. Now, I've got a different idea. How's this for a plan? We'll send out our young into the cold, dark night. Sacrifice our children while we turn off all the lights and pretend to be out. Yeah, that makes sense. And then consider how this works in practice. On any other autumn night, your young child asks if they can go wandering the streets for an hour or two. No, you can't. It's cold and dark and there are bad people abroad. You stay here where it's warm and light and safe. But no, completely different response tonight, isn't it? Can I go wandering the streets tonight? Yes, you can. In fact, let's dress you up in outlandish clothing, possibly even fluorescent, so that you can draw attention to yourselves. Then you should go and knock on the doors of strangers asking for food. To someone who had not grown up with these concepts, that would sound like madness. Who began this tradition? The child snatcher. But because we grew up with the concept before our intellects properly developed, we just accept it. And it moulded our brains into accepting similar nonsense. Santa Claus, a bunny that lays chocolate eggs, the trickle-down theory, the idea that privatising public services somehow means more money will be spent on those services. By the time you're an adult, you're willing to believe all sorts of rubbish. They get you with reality TV, then they convince you that the uh, trashing of living standards that came with five years of Tory austerity was somehow the EU's fault. Then they convince you that a country much smaller than the EU can have a bigger voice on the world stage on its own. 
that will get all the benefits of membership without actually being members or following any rules. And all because we told them as children to stop asking a lot of awkward questions when they were being introduced to the nonsense that is seasonal synapse twisting activities like Halloween, which has resulted in, two years after the last no Brexit day, war with France, albeit a trade war. I don't think Boris Johnson is actually mad enough to start an actual war. I think. But those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. Hope you found the video interesting. If you did, don't forget to click the like button if you'd like to support the channel further. Please also click the Patreon link for details. And until next time, I'll see you later. It's hot in there.